Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you have a problem where a mirror does not work, you need to adjust your mirror but it doesn't work. We'll explain what can cause that. It could be simple fix. We'll talk about that. We'll explain where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so if a mirror does not work what can cause that multiple things guys we will demonstrate on this Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban right here both of these vehicles are practically built on the same platform the main difference is the Tahoe is a little bit shorter but it should apply to both vehicles now guys there will first we need to check some fuses because it could be simple fix and there will be five different hidden fuse boxes in that SUV that uh, nine out of ten owners do not know where they're located that's okay that's why we made a special video on our YouTube channel uh, that's called Chevy Taco Chevy Suburban fuse box location and diagram what do we guys need to do first now we need to open the driver door when you do that on the side of the dash you're going to end up having a cover that cover if you pry it open you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here guys what do you need to check first we need to check fuse number seven we're talking about that fuse right here check that fuse guys next you want to check fuse number 18 so fuse number 18 will be that fuse that then fuse here after that you need to check fuse number 43 right there next guys what else can cause mirror not to work okay let me show you now sometimes it could be a bad mirror itself the mirror it has motor two motors usually that one moves it up and down the other one the other way but sometimes they can burn and they can cause the mirror not to work or we can have internal problem next something that we see quite often is a mirror switch that's a mirror switch it switches from left to right and that's the switch itself most of the times on most vehicles it's integrated in the master window switch that switch what will happen usually guys here uh, people will spill drinks they will leave the window open it will rain on it or when they clean the vehicles they will get it wet and that can quit working bad mirror switch we see it quite often next you need to check the wiring harness that it's plugged in the mirror if somebody removed the door panel to replace a speaker window regulator window motor that wire if it wasn't pushed in all the way it may became loose we've seen that happen after people do work on their cars quite often too and uh, those are guys some of the most common things we see here at the garage so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses 
fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.